to wear the boots, sabatons they're called, and they would obviously make it slightly difficult when running in running through a field of battle. Put on his male miniskirt. <laughs> <laughs> it's not chain mail, it's male. Male simply because it's the French word for net. And it is literally a net of male and it's really flexible. And it needs to be flexible here. Uh, he wears it to protect his inheritance. It also gives him a lot of flexibility when he gets onto his horse. But also when he's fighting, it means he can kneel down, he can get up, he can do forward rolls. <laughs> now going on now, we have the standard, so this protecting protecting the neck here, again made from male. Not not, necess not obviously a necessary thing, you can just wear the bever, which I'll go on in just a moment as well. Which he's still yellow, he's not gold yet. Um, but it's easy for uh, new knights to get into their armour. Uh, and they'll be strapped in like a fighter pilot or a Formula One driver. You know, get a knee on the chest, get his straps and his points done up nice and tight. And that's brilliant. He feels really secure in it. He runs around 15 minutes later. He's wondering why he has to walk like this. Because his body's expanded. And all those laces and points are now so much tighter. So this has to be almost infinitely adjustable. And that is one of the critical roles of a squire. Uh, and, and a good, you know, senior squire. Uh, Knight will probably have at least two squires with him and their job is to constantly adjust this as he fights, as he takes dents. You don't take very many dents, do you, Sir Joseph? Because no, he no, often no. wins. Now this is the cuirass here, made up of various different parts. You have tassets here, which just add a bit of extra protection to the important areas. We then have folds here, uh, these folds or lames, they're made up of several different parts, make it liftable, easier to adjust and move upwards and downwards, and then you have the placard and the breastplate. So going on now, we have the, the gauntlets. This means that all of a sudden, Sir Joseph is now really good at boxing. <laughs> uh, you, you can use it to punch people. In fact, there are this various, uh, <laughs> various Italian manuscripts, in fact, that, uh, that show us that knights learnt to wrestle in full harnesses of armour, which is obviously in something itself, that's... Really. Which is a bit of a feat in itself, as we say. So these, these go on here, and then... Once you have these, we have the last, the last thing, of course, as well, which is going on in a second, and that hold, hold of your face. So jawbone salé here. So dropping the visor would make him look even more intimidating than he already does. No effect. None taken. There we go.
Thanks, why don't you? <laughs> and a firm strike to the boss there again. It cannot be said for Squire Rob. Oh, and it bounces out. It was a, it was a, you know, a good, good attempt, but it... Oh, and it's very good. It's very good. Oh. Another clean strike there for Squire David. He's having a very good day today. And a good strike there from against the boss from Squire Rob as well. Again, very, very good. Now here we go. Square Andrew, oh, it bounces out there. Really on form today, you have to say. And he's been dragged by the bever to the boss, and Sir James Dambray really not looking happy here. I'm on! Okay, Square Andrew, Square Andrew, can you please come over here. So, Pondo here. Ooh! Just wide there. <laughs> Clean point there. Ooh. Ooh. Very good stuff. Yeah. Guy. Here we go. Ooh. Ooh. Thank you very much. Thank you.